So Iron Man 2021, 4th of July. That's the event I've ended up entering into for me to take part in. For any of you who don't know, an Ironman event is a triathlon comprising of a swim, a bike and a run. A 2.3 mile swim, 112 mile cycle and a full 26.2 mile run. If you asked me one year ago, do you think you'd be doing an Ironman or any kind of triathlon for that matter? Would I think I was gonna be doing it? Absolutely not. So it's been one of those things which has only really been an idea for the last six months just before lockdown around February, March time. I've ended up entering it in the last few months and I'm going to be doing it with no triathlon experience. I'm going to delve into what actually is an Ironman. Like I said, it's a triathlon comprising of the swim bike run, but it's known as one of the hardest and one of the most brutal triathlon events you can do. I'm going to be doing the Bolton one, which is held in England, the full one like I said, which is the full Ironman. It's only held once per year. This year, obviously it was called off because of some type of virus or something which has been going about around the world, who would have thought? But it's known as one of the hardest ones purely because of the distance. The average finish time for the Bolton Ironman is 13 hours. And I don't know about you, but I have not done any event anywhere close to 13 hours, especially all in one day as well. So the Ironman isn't gonna be easy to say the least. I'm not deluded or naive to think that it will be, but I am looking forward to it. So as stated, I haven't actually got any experience in triathlons, in swimming events, cycling events, or even running events. Didn't know I'm a one-to-one -one personal trainer. I have been for the last five and a half years where I've been training clients on a one-to-one -one basis, group training as well. And I come from a background of fitness, but the last seven or eight years since I've been 16, of, is primarily been weight and strength training. Not really much cardio whatsoever, although when I was at school, when I was a kid, I used to, you know, football, I used to do cross country, which I normally excelled at, but again, nothing, nothing like a triathlon, and especially jumping right in, in at the deep end, no pun intended, with an Ironman triathlon. So like I said, the last seven or eight years, I've been doing primarily gym training, weight, hypertrophy, strength. Around six to seven months ago and around February time, one of my mates, who was a personal trainer at the same gym as well, said he'd like to do a triathlon before he's 40. He's in mid thirties now and you know, five years to go. Oh, he's got five years to do it. And I thought, yep, good job, go for it. And then I think a couple of days went by and I think the more I thought about him doing it, the more I thought I wanted to do it. As crazy as that sounds, because like I said, I've never actually done any type of triathlon. I thought I'd love to give myself some type of goal to aim towards. So after a few days or weeks, I was thinking about it and I thought, you know what? I wouldn't mind going at this. With it sort of flirting it around in the back of my mind, I thought, I'm gonna start picking up running a little bit again. Bearing in mind, I'd barely done any running in the last few years. So I started going out for a few jogs. I was, you know, maybe running once or twice a week. You know, to be honest, twice was probably a good week. And um, the first few runs, I was, I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. I was getting niggles, I was getting tightness in my calves, my knees were playing up, purely just because I hadn't really done any whatsoever. And obviously not having a bike and being barely able to swim, and um, that really wasn't an option at the time. So running, I thought, was the best way to get started. And then after a few weeks of running, I thought, you know what? I've run three or four K, let's do the Ironman. I mean, looking back, that sounds pretty a naive way of thinking. I don't really know why I thought just after going for a few runs that I could do a nine man. Slightly deluded, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna to stick to it. I told my mate that I wanna do it with you. So we said, why don't we do it next year? 2021 summer, we're going for it. And then obviously lockdown happened March, April, and to be honest, that probably gave me a really good chance to really get into my running. Cause obviously I wasn't working as much, the gym's closed. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start running a lot more, three to four times per week. Built that up over a few months and we're now in October. I do believe it's the 4th of October today as of this recording. But when it hit around July and we went to the gym, you know, just as the gyms were open and we went in and paid the fee, which isn't cheap, to enter into the full Ironman. So there's no backing out once you've done that, especially when you've paid that, those kind of fees. Funny thing is because of COVID, the only thing I've been able to do the last, well, from February, March to August is run. So because of this, obviously, I wasn't doing any swimming or any cycling whatsoever. Um, I actually went in to the local cycle shop to get a bike in around June time. 
and they told me that they had barely any bikes in shop in store so I put a deposit down on a bike online and it only just arrived three weeks ago so around mid-September but all the summer when I could have been building my base on the on the bike I haven't been able to so it's pretty much just been running for the last six months I've been pretty much like Forrest Gump now I've got my bike I can run and I've started swimming as well this is what my current training looks like so at the minute it's somewhere around three or four cycles per week three runs two swims and three gym sessions and this sounds like a lot when I tell people I'm doing this amount of volume and frequency throughout the week it sounds quite daunting and you know if, you, if I told myself one year ago that I'd be doing this I think I was crazy as well but one of the things I've learned over the last six months is not all of my training has to be balls to the wall where I'm really pushing myself and exerting myself every single session you know 90% of my training is done at a steady level in what's called zone 2 training where my heart rate is somewhere around 70 to 80 percent of my max heart rate and uh, which for me is somewhere somewhere between 135 and 150 and that's on the run and the cycle and obviously the swim it's a lot harder to check the watch when you're on the swim but that's one thing i found and that's really helped me build my base up over these last five to six months is not exerting myself too much and limiting my risk of injury so i'm able to do more over a prolonged period of time and maximize the gains so a lot of the time throughout the week i'll have a double training session so i might have one in the morning i'll wake up around five quarter past five and i'll either do a run or a cycle six to seven so i have one hour before i start training my clients So it is 6am or just before coming down into the garage for an early morning ride. One hour before I start work, get some oats after this. Looking forward to it, first early morning one, can't beat it. And then fit in another session uh, somewhere between 12 and 3pm in the afternoon because usually as a PT you have your morning clients and your evening clients. So that's the way I've been able to get two sessions in per day. Okay, so one hour done, um, nice easy ride, zone two training. Um, one thing I've learned over the last few, well, five, six months in starting this style of training is that every single session doesn't necessarily need to be all out, guns blazing, but I'm gonna feel knackered afterwards. So I'll, the minute I'm doing it, and now between an hour and two hours on the bike, steady stay on Zwift. I've only been doing it the last few weeks because I've been waiting a long time for my bike due to lockdown, so good session. Let's get on with the day. And as well as uh, the running and the cycling, obviously I've been doing the swimming, which I've also got a coach with my friend for, because to be honest, I was like a log in the water. I mean, I was stiff as a board. I didn't really know how to swim. I, I learned, well, I got taught to swim when I was a kid, but at the absolute basic level, pretty much just to teach me not to die when I go in the water. So the last few weeks of swimming have been very humbling to say the least. And if you ask me at the minute, what's your weakest out of the three, I'd probably say swimming. And strongest, probably running. So we are on the iPhone cam. Sunday morning, which means one thing. It means the Sunday long run. We usually go for around 90 minutes, around an hour and a half, which usually equates to somewhere around 10 to 11 mile. Um, yeah, perfect weather. After pouring down rain yesterday, relatively humid but looking forward to it got to swim later at two o'clock cycle yesterday so all this being said how is my training going to look moving forward because training between nine and 12 times per week is quite a lot and there's only so much you can progress from there and you know i'm still nine months out at the minute one thing i'm going to do as it gets closer to july is probably from january onwards um we're going to actually get a proper training program at the minute we're just trying to get, like I said, around three to four sessions in of each discipline. But as it gets, as it goes on, as time goes on, we're going to have to get a proper structured training program from someone who knows what they're doing. So it's a lot more tailored to us specifically, so we can be pretty much the most efficient on the day. Sunday morning, long run finished. Ended up being 12 mile in the end instead of 10, because I think I ended up running one hour, 42 minutes with an average of 8.35 minute per mile felt really good 
that pace is quite conservative for me so it's quite a easiest easy ish pace which i can go for quite a long period of time without exerting myself too much um so yeah felt really good gonna get home have a big feed up and go swimming later so one question i get asked from some of my friends is how do you fit this around work and if i'm being totally honest i am in quite a lucky position considering i'm a personal trainer i work in a private gym so it's not a public gym a lot of the time it's free especially in those mid days some of the other pts don't have any clients in but i can always get a gym session in it's always you know readily available gym is pretty easy to do and like i said because i normally have clients morning and evening i'll get up early five half five get my first session done a run or a cycle and then i've got a big gap in the afternoon to train as well and i totally understand if i had a nine to five if i'm being honest it would be harder to fit it in not working in a gym if i worked in an office for example um, but that is one way how i do fit all the training and before i sign up to that i thought this is going to be really difficult fitting everything in but if i'm totally honest at the minute it hasn't been i've actually enjoyed every single bit of it i know that it's going to get a lot harder as time goes on and i might find it a little bit more difficult to fit the train sessions in as the volume goes up but for now it's good train in the morning train in the afternoon saturdays and sundays are great as well because saturdays i might only have clients in the morning and um, so i have all afternoon and then sunday as well don't fit any clients in so i can always train go for a long run usual long run sundays to wrap this first video up the summary obviously i'm going to be doing an ironman and one of the main reasons for me creating this channel is because I want to vlog and document my journey to that day of doing the Ironman on 4th of July 2021. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of ups and a lot of downs and a lot of really hard sessions. But if you'd like to see my journey, I'd appreciate it. if you subscribe, comment with any questions you've got or words of advice. If you have done an Ironman or a triathlon before, I would happily welcome any advice there is to give. Thank you, subscribe and follow on my Instagram as well. Thank you.